Hello everybody and welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2 West Balkans DLC. So we're going to get straight into it in just a second, but first of all I just want to say thank you so much to SCS for the early access version. And I must make clear that because it is the early access version, it's also the work in progress version. If you've not been following the blog posts on what the West Balkans DLC is all about, basically, well it's the West Balkans, it's all this area here. Uh, so we're going to be in this series traveling to hopefully nearly all of these places, well hopefully all of them, um, but yes we're just outside of the area because of course I drove here in preparation prior to receiving the DLC, so it actually starts here in Maribor which is Slovenia, uh, so we just need to drive to here to pick up our first load hopefully, and yes my plan is to actually stay completely within the West Balkans area, so let's drive. So here we are in our Volvo. I think probably the best thing to do is just going to be to rest first of all, because then we can guarantee that we're going to be driving in the daytime. I do not want to be doing this when it's dark. That would not make for a very good first video on this DLC. So there we go. Just get a bit of rest. Let's just get a bit of rest. <laughs> yeah, make sure it is nice and light. There we go. Midday, that's fine. Um, it probably would have come light relatively quickly. But yeah, I don't want to be doing any of this first video in the dark if I can help it. I really want to show off this DLC as much as possible. So really, we don't want to be looking at too much of this area because it's not the new area. Um, yeah, really, yeah, as I said, Maribor is our first place. It's 64 kilometers from here. So I think I am just going to pretty much jump cut once we get onto the motorway, onto the main road here. Um, yeah, and then... As we approach, I will resume the recording. Yeah, I'm just going to pull out here. We don't have a trailer. We have good acceleration. Although actually this lorry is pretty good anyway. So there's the sign for Maribor. Of course if my pronunciation is not very good, then I do apologise. So, here we are. Joining this uh, dual carriageway. We should be there no time at all. Okay then, so this is our turn, and this is where it all begins. If you've watched the trailer already for this DLC, you'll already know that it's an incredibly impressive DLC with the scenery, very dramatic, lots of places to explore, and it also looks like some fairly tight roads to drive on as well, which is probably, you know, a real life lorry driver's worst nightmare, but good fun in a game. So I just put the marker to here, uh, but what we want to do is continue on and see exactly which loads we can pick up. So we do need to pull off in just a second, I'll try not to speed too much, and I'll probably try and utilise engine braking as much as possible as well. Okay, I am just going to pull off here, I'm just going to go in here. Now that we've discovered it, we can see which loads we can get. Okay, so freight market, click on Maribor, and as I said, we are going to be going to places within this area. So Serbia, that would be uh, one of them. Um, it would be nice to do several shorter ones. Um, so this one which goes to Bosnia and Herzegovina is actually the worst paid one, but for me, that looks like an interesting one. That looks really good fun going through Croatia and into Bosnia and Herzegovina. So I think we're going to go with this. I'm not too worried about the pay. Um, it's not bad pay anyway. It's pretty good pay. And it's air conditioners. So it's a more interesting load as well. So let's go and get that picked up. It is 18 kilometers from here. And um, yeah, then the fun really begins. We'll check out the route as well. Once we have the trailer on, we'll check out the route. And I've just discovered a DAF truck dealer. Very nice. Although at the moment I'm happy with my Volvo, but we will be replacing the lorry at some point.
Right, so that is our trailer booked in. You can see it's behind us. And it is going to Tuzla in Bosnia and Herzegovina. I'll try and attach to this without crashing into it. But I'm not a real lorry driver. And that will become very clear. Anyway, that is now attaching. I think it only said it was five tons. It looks really heavy. Yeah, five tons. So, <laughs> actually it's gonna be a really easy load. Um, but let's just quickly check that map and see if we have any really interesting roads to go on or if they're all main roads. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna be pretty much main roads. Uh, we're not out in the uh, in those tight roads that we've seen in the trailer. Uh, they will be absolutely fascinating to drive. But, this is just sort of getting us into it, and at least we get to cross uh, actually three countries because we're in Slovenia now. We're going to go through Croatia and obviously finish in Bosnia and Herzegovina. So off we go. 504 kilometers. Wow, I didn't think it was as much as that. It is surprising. This was one of my shorter loads that I was talking about, although there weren't that many loads from here. Yeah, this uh, lorry was actually branded as Dagoman Logistics, but I have removed all mods for this video, as mentioned. So it's just gone to a default colour, which, well, it looks alright. I tend to go for a sort of onyx colour. Oh, no, I shouldn't be trying to <laughs> put differential on. No, I won't do that. No, I was trying to put cruise control on. That's better. So it's going to be a slow departure through here. I have also increased my graphics options for the mirrors because they were actually set to medium, uh, which is considerably worse than the higher settings. So I've made them much clearer. It is such a realistic game. I love how realistic it is. And if you are interested in my graphics settings, it's not maxed out, it's not all set to ultra, but they're all set to fairly high. I did have a frame rate drop when it was set to ultra and I don't want to have a reduced frame rate while recording so I just really optimized it right can we beat those lights come on lorry yes we can of course my goal is to never damage this load I do not want to damage it at all I don't want to damage anything and I will try not to speed but it just sometimes happens yeah, I'm trying to get things done as quickly as possible, but legally. So when we're out on the open roads like this, we, we will be time-lapsing so that we can get more done in a video, and so the video isn't super long. But it feels nice, lots of trees, nice and open, good scenery. But this really is just the tip of the iceberg. There is so much to actually discover. Uh, you'll never, I don't think, get a full idea of what this DLC is like from just watching this one video. You'll have to watch the whole series. I am going to be doing a whole series on this, so definitely uh, stay tuned. And my plan is to keep going to all the different locations within the new area. Okay, this is <laughs> some bad luck. Uh, that road was shut, so we've had to go this way, and now I'm being x-rayed. Brilliant. So, yeah, a bit of an unexpected delay. Let's hope we pass the test. Right, let's 
stop the engine. And yeah, I've never seen anything like this before. Still makes it more interesting. Oh good, we've passed the test and we may continue. So uh, yes, I think I probably do have my um, incidents probability set too high because I do seem to get a lot of incidents. I should really reduce that. Still, it's fun, but I will reduce it. Because uh, now we are going completely the wrong way. I do not want to be going this way at all. Um, so, <laughs> yes, I will reduce it right away, actually. There we go. Done. Yeah, I've reduced detours, but I have kept uh, random road events fairly high, like 20%. It was defaulting to, I think, 35%. All right, I'm at risk of getting lost here. So I will just resume the time lapse and hopefully we get back on track pretty quickly. Um, yes, because we want to be going over here, and now we're going, <laughs> we're going over here. We're going to have to go all the way over here just to turn around and come back again. Hopefully we don't get x-rayed on the way back. That'll be fun. So, yeah, let's just get back on track. Well, despite not wanting to drive in the dark, I don't think we're going to have much choice. The problem is, I suppose, we did go through to half twelve, and it's quite a long journey. So we are, after all, going to be doing some night driving, which might satisfy quite a lot of people. At least we get to see the sunset, which is actually... Don't crash. Over there. Uh, yes, looking around and driving is very tricky. But then this game does have photo mode, you can go into the photo studio, it pauses the game and you can really have a good look around. But we need to crack on. Uh, we're doing fine for diesel, so we don't need to stop, there's absolutely no reason to stop. Uh, 278 kilometers left. One place which I really want to go to in this DLC is Split in Croatia. I think that would be such a lovely place to go to. It's coastal, I bet it looks absolutely amazing. I was going to try and get one to split for this first video, but yeah, I don't think there was one. But there's all the time in the world. We'll be going there at some point soon. Maybe even episode two. So yeah, we're losing the light. But we do have a nice sunset in the rear view mirror. In the, in the two side mirrors. cruising along at 90 kilometers per hour but yeah we're slowing down <laughs> getting stuck behind a lorry oh these lorries maybe I should actually have a look at the map and just see exactly what the upcoming route is like let's just open it up uh, yeah so it looks like it is gonna be quite a straightforward journey actually. I don't think it's going to be very long at all. I reckon when we get the next time lapse going we'll soon be there. And I would prefer to time lapse night time, although I've been time lapsing daytime as well. It's just, yeah, the way I do my ETS2 videos. I just think it works. Having some in real time, having some time lapse, it's the best way. Oh good, we've lost one. <laughs> Logan Stick Logistics is gone. We shall continue. Just give this vehicle space to merge if it wants to. Thing is, though, can I get in front again? It's 
probably going to accelerate so fast that we're not... Yeah, that was my concern. Okay, and now I'm going to stay here. I'm going to get in front of this one. Otherwise we're going to be sat behind it forever. You slow tanker. We're flying. But yep, the darkness is well and truly here. So let's get this first journey over and done with. Well, this is interesting. It looks like a road under construction. This was very <laughs> confusing, uh, especially in the dark. So we'll just keep following this round. Let's see where it takes us to. Of course, the minimap makes it all so much easier. It's making it busy, though. Lots of traffic behind us. Nothing in front. Yeah, it's a construction site. But it looks like, yeah, just up here we do join onto the original road again. This is certainly something to make it more interesting, though. I did see when I went to one of those customs uh, sites, it did say trailer damage 1%, so I must have clipped something, I'm guessing. As long as it didn't damage the load... It doesn't even matter. Okay, well it's completely shut up there, so we don't even need to look right. Uh, oh no, that's not... No, ignore what I just said. Of course we need to look right. Uh, yeah, so we're going through the... What road is this? The M17 to the E73. Ah, oh, this would be such a beautiful view, I think, in the daytime. I could just stop and rest, but the problem with doing that is we run the risk of it being late, our delivery. Yeah, look at the fuel station, even that is under construction. We are almost there, there's not much further. We're heading in the direction of Sarajevo. Okay, yeah, so it is just really, I think, along this road, it is, it's along this road, 50 kilometres, and then we will be at our destination. Not much further at all. Here we are. I'm actually speeding, <laughs> amazingly. Um, we do need to drive very slowly around here. But our destination is in sight. I'm hoping we don't have to reverse this, but if we do, that's fine. Uh, I think we're coming off here. Don't want to speed, although we don't actually get penalised for it. I think I've got all those fines switched off. Yep, this is the place. 
so now we just need to find the bay that we're parking in. Without the minimap, I wouldn't have a clue where to go to. Look at all those IBCs. Okay, I get the feeling we're going to be reversing into a tight spot. Uh, yes, we are going to be reversing into a tight spot. I don't think it wants us to go in forwards. No, it doesn't. So, um, fun. Yes, very fun. <laughs> I think if I go up here... Uh, is that, that's a train through there. Luckily this is a steering trailer. So we can make some pretty tight turns. But also we've got to watch this wall. With the uh, with the cab. And now I've got to watch the trailer because that's turned quite tight. Okay. I turned too tight. Hitting the wall. Alright, there's a tanker directly behind me. Uh, we would actually be better off doing this from the other direction. If I just go forward, change of plan, I'm doing it from here. Because the trailer is not a problem, it's a steering trailer so it can get into some pretty tight spaces trick is, I think, really, is just not to rush, and I'm already going too fast, because that trailer is going to put itself wherever we want it to go, without kicking up a fuss. Okay, if only I'd done that from the start. Make it nice and straight, and then we can inspect our work. From third person view, there we go. That's in. So, did we get damage? I really don't know. No, we didn't. Lovely. Yes, that obviously was not the best pay just because of the load that I went for. Um, but it, it could have been so much worse. So now, we're not going to take another job until we've rested. We want to make sure it is daylight. It is only 1.39am. So let's go to somewhere where we can safely and legally rest. But it is nice that we are progressing through the West Balkans areas. Um, I did see somewhere yes, here. Is that, is that the closest place? That's probably closer. But then we want to be around this area anyway. Yeah, we'll go to this one. 32 kilometers away. Wow. Okay, well, I will see you over there. I think I'll jump cut. Okay, here we are. So this is where we're resting. It's just some gravel. It's just a lay-by, so... Um, that'll bring us nicely to daytime. Oh, look, that's where we spent the night. <laughs> we would never have known. Okay, so let's see what the situation is. We're not that far from split. Can we get one to split? Please, please, let me get one from split. Or two split. Yeah, we want to go two split. No, we can't. Okay. Um, so, we'll do a small one to Sarajevo. Because, um, yeah, then, because it, I'm going to be doing so many videos on this. And that's actually good pay. That's really good pay. So, we'll, we'll do these pressure tanks. It's on the way to split. So, that's something. Yes, I'll have another video of this out tomorrow for anybody who is interested. Oh, it's nice not to be driving in the dark. I don't know how much of that this video has actually been in the dark because I have time-lapsed so much of it. But I hope not too much. Although, it's, it's amazing. The lighting is very good. Very realistic. Okay, then. So let's get that booked in. How far? It's not far at all, is it? Not far at all. Okay, I think it's... Yes, it's down there. I might even be able to manoeuvre in this little area here. Yep. I see other people have hit that wall. <laughs> I won't join them. 
big scuff down the side. I'm a bit too far over, I reckon. Yeah. I should have just corrected it. That should do it, though. Yeah, that's got it. So there we have them, pressure tanks. Um, 159 kilometers, it's not far. It is not far at all. So let's get going. I think in the next episode I'm going to paint this lorry. I'll go with a different colour. Might do some other customizations as well. But it's lovely. Yeah, I love this DLC. Nice scenery. I've never been here in real life. Yeah, this is... I just love how it... it it's hard to explain. The, in, the industrial areas just sort of blend so perfectly with the rural areas. The countryside. Like, no place feels too industrial. The countryside is never far away. Nice. Oh, a tractor. Yeah, I was going to say we're going to have a nice leisurely drive here. Could just take in this scenery all day. Oh, that's a nice route. Very nice road. I'm guessing at some point, yeah, that's where we're going to have a speed limit change. We've got rocks, risk of rocks falling here from these cliffs. Oh, this is my favourite road so far today. This is very nice. I'm actually tempted to do this journey in real time and not time lapse it. But if we do go onto a dual carriageway I will time lapse it. Third person view. That's yeah, beautiful. Yeah, there's no rush at all. If that car behind is getting impatient, they can overtake. Although I am only two miles per hour off the speed limit. Yeah, we can't be driving too fast around here. Actually, when I looked at this on the minimap, I thought, yeah, it's a fairly major road. But I think it's going to get quite twisty and turny. We will see. Delivery. So many logs. Yes, the increase in trees. Uh, I, I can see the frame rate dropping. I have got my, as I've got my graphics set pretty high now, but it's worth it. So we can appreciate this. Mmm, look at this. And they've even got the mesh on the cliff face so that the uh, rocks don't land on the road. Well, the speed limit is 60, but actually I can't get above 50. I, I wanted to stay at this 50. It's now 70. Wow. Maybe we can now pick up a bit of speed. Well, we'll let this car go. If it wants to go. 
we'll keep cruising along. Set it to 66. Oh no. Another speed limit changes here. There's no point. <laughs> There's absolutely no point getting up to 70. The car didn't overtake anyway. And now we're in a tunnel. Want to do a bit more third person view in a second? You can really appreciate it more in third person view. Although it is a bit more difficult for me to drive, but I think I'm all right. Okay, now we're going down to 40. Oh yes, look at this. If only I could have done this journey first, but yeah, I couldn't do because I wasn't in the right area. But at least it's still in part one. These are the sort of roads I want to be on the whole time. I just prefer them. As I said, if it was real life, <laughs> driving a lorry, I'm sure this is the sort of road you would hate to be on. But in a game, it's just so much more fun. Oh, I'm speeding. Bit of graffiti here. Bit of artwork. Seventy-two kilometers until we reach our destination. Uh, and this road, yeah, it looks like it's going to be continuing for a while. But at least it's mostly downhill. Although we do have the power. And how heavy is this load? It's it's not that heavy. 12 tons. Yeah, it would be alright. We've got diff lock if we needed it. Well, there we go. We've already discovered four places in the new DLC. Uh, we've just discovered Sarajevo. So we now need to just get our last two kilometers out of the way so that we can get paid. And I think in the future, I will always try and go for the more expensive jobs. But I think once we're fully within this area, which we should be now, uh, we'll get a lot more to this sort of, well, West Balkans area. Um, so yeah, Serbia, Croatia, all of those places, Slovenia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, probably miss one. Oh, dog! This all looks so realistic. Very natural. I know the speed limit's 40, but I just want to do 30 so I can take it in. Okay, we're going across here. Across the train line. Wow, this just feels so different to places I've driven on ATS2 before. Super detailed. Yeah, I have thoroughly enjoyed this second journey. Coming off the dual carriageways really does make a big difference to everything. Okay. This is our yard. And 
and it looks like we're putting the trailer around the side. That one there. Well, that shouldn't be too difficult at all. Yeah, that should be a... I don't want to speak too soon, but that should be a relatively easy one. I'm hoping. Just got to watch the front. Okay, try and keep this as straight as possible. Not perfect, but it should do. Okay, there we go. So let's wrap things up here. Excellent, so we haven't actually taken any damage to any loads today. I haven't done for a long time actually. Um, so this is this is good. We are progressing nicely. Anyway, I will be back with another episode on Eurotrix MS2 West Balkans DLC tomorrow. Uh, so please do stay tuned. Please do subscribe, like the video, and uh, yeah, see you again very soon. Bye for now.